An Armstrong County resort that abruptly closed in February is reborn. The Lenape Heights Golf, uh, excuse me, Golf Resort will become the Lenape Wellness Center. Later this summer, Chris Hoffman has the timeline on when that'll happen. Management here says they're already gifted with great amenities. They have a hotel that can become rooms for patients, as well as the natural beauty, which they say will play a role in therapy for people who come here. The resort has acres of rolling hills and maintained grass, thanks to the golf course. Since closing in February, sending some weddings searching for new venues, the work has been done to get it ready to treat chronic psychological needs. And that they can live healthy and whole and feel well and be happy. All of those things that humans are meant to be. That's the Lenape Wellness Center Chief Clinical Officer Amy Rhodes. She says the hotel will be the rooms for the estimated 40 to 45 patients they can hold. They will start with a closer amount of 20 to 25 when they open. We want this to feel like home away from home. So we want to provide you know, all of that to them. This week, the center did interviews for the 40 to 50 staff positions. We're finding a lot of talented staff in the area, and that's where we prefer to get our staff. The location of the center works to allow patients various forms of therapy and get in touch with the outside. There are trails to hike along with the golf course, which will be used as treatments. Rhodes hopes to bring in people from the community to help with golf lessons. Bringing the community in can help break the stigma of mental health. If we include them on what we're doing and if they can see it in action, there's less fear, less concern. People who are interested can't quite register for a spot yet. They hope to have that soon. Management is finalizing their state licensing paperwork. The goal is to get everything up and ready within the next few weeks, hopefully by the end of the month. In Manor Township, Armstrong County, Chris Hoffman, KDKA-TV News.